Hi, I'm Dr. Zora Ahmed. This is a case of a three-year-old male child presented with precocious puberty. These are the sagittal T1 beta images. This is the optic asthma, mammillary body, region of the hypothalamus, uh, the pituitary gland inside the cella, the stalk, and we see that there is a rounded T1 isolant translation between the optic asthma and mammillary body arising from the floor of the hypothalamus. For the T2 weighted images, we see that the lesion is ISO intense on T2 as well. On the coronal T1 weighted images, we see this is the region of the hypothalamus and, uh, around the inferior aspect of the third ventricle, and we see this pedunculated lesion arising from the floor of the third ventricle, which is T1 ISO intense. More internally, we see the stalk and the pituitary gland. Coronal T2 weighted images again show that the lesion is. Isointense. Post contrast, there is no enhancement within the lesion. So, the diagnosis in this three year old child presented with precocious puberty is hypothalamic hematoma. So, we'll quickly review the anatomy of the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is a collection of nuclei in the around the third ventricle and uh, it's a triangular region which is limited anteriorly by the lamina terminalis, medially by line joining anterior commissure and posterior commissure, posteriorly by line joining posterior commissure and mammillary body, and medially by the tuber sanarium and the optic isma. Uh, median eminence is a bulge of the tuber sanarium into the infernibular stalk. On the MRI, this uh, is the region of the hypothalamus, limited anteriorly by the lamina terminalis, Superiorly by line joining anterior commissure and posterior commissure, posteriorly by line joining mammillary body and posterior commissure, inferiorly by the tuber sanarium and uh, optic asthma. This is a stalk and cellar uh, housing the pituitary gland. So, hypothalamic hematomas are benign non neoplastic lesions which affect individuals in the first and second decade, predominantly males, can present as gelastic seizures. In other patients, as precocious puberty and visual problems due to mass effect, we have benign lesions and do not tend to grow generally. On uh, MRI, uh, they are T1, T2, ISO intense lesions, do not show enhancement, can show minus tall peak on spectroscopy. We have two types parahypothalamic or tuber sanitary lesions and intrahypothalamic lesions. So, parahypothalamic, like the one we saw, are pedunculated lesions attached to the floor of hypothalamus and are associated with the coxious puberty. Intrahypothalamic lesions are within the substance of hypothalamus and they generally present with gelastic seizures. They are treated either medically for the coxious puberty and surgically for seizures. Thank you.